Hi, sorry for the delay with this video. For the one year anniversary of me living in this apartment, my car got stolen. So, I did renew my lease. Okay, before we get into the whole updated apartment tour, I did want to thank today's sponsor. You will see in the rest of this video. And for that, I'd like to thank Anchor Work by Anchor. Content creators can now record videos or stream from anywhere thanks to the Anchor Work M650 wireless microphone. As you can see, I'm wearing it right here. With patented voice shield, noise reduction, and TrueLink wireless protocol, viewers or listeners can hear only a creator's voice loud and clear. The M650 receiver's TrueLink wireless technology picks up sound from more than 650 feet away with HD quality, plus an all-in-one charging case that's easy to use to keep the microphone ready when inspiration strikes. This is extremely easy to just store and carry with me anywhere, and it's ready. Dual channel wireless recording is supported and the unique voice shield noise reduction technology eliminates noise, identifies a human's voice and offers three dimensional lossless sound. I mean, you can literally hear how good the sound quality literally is. And that's so important to me because now the videos that I use, I use a microphone in every video. You can also change the cover on them with six different colors. So I chose black today to match my shirt better. I also have purple. It's incredibly easy to use anywhere because of the all-in-one design. Really easy for traveling, storing, charging, automatic pairing, file reading, and more. And it's really nice that I don't have to travel with a whole bulky case with my microphones. I can just use this. And with M650's easy wear design, you can run, jump, or dance. Currently using the magnet on it, but you can also clip it on. I know a lot of people like to record in the gym when they're like showing instructional videos. So that would be really good for that. And it's also really easy to connect to your phone or computer using the little USB adapters. Not to mention it has a 15 hour battery life with the charging case. If you wanna get your own Anchor M650 microphone. You can click the link in my description and see why I love this microphone so much. Thank you, Anchor Work. I'm really excited to record this video because when I first recorded this video, it was a year ago and my apartment was like nowhere near close to being finished. I had like no furniture. I didn't have like a style that I really identified with. I like just didn't know what the hell I wanted. And honestly, it was really overwhelming. I felt like I would never get done doing my apartment. And honestly, I truly don't feel like I ever will be done. I don't have many expensive hobbies, but my one expensive hobby that I will sometimes justify is like furniture collecting, especially antique and vintage furniture. Anyway, I feel like my style and my personality just reflects really well in my environment, the being who thrives in her environment. And if like my environment's not up to my standards, then I, I feel off. I feel fucking off. I love it when people do like apartment tours or house tours or something and they're like, oh, this is a, a safe welcoming space for my friends. And I, I just always want to host and I just always want people over. That's not me. It's just not, sorry. I love having friends over and I love having my family over. I hosted one party and I'm not doing that shit again. Don't do that when you have a white couch, don't. I do like having people over, but I'm very selective about the people I have over, okay? So, you're probably not invited, no offense. Let's start at the beginning, come on, come on. People give me shit for not having a place to sit down when you wanna put your shoes on. And I have a no shoe policy in my house, so people will be taking their shoes on and off in my house. And the only shoes I wear in my house are Crocs, and it's specifically camo Crocs. You might find out some things in this video that may surprise you. This is my house. I love this wall. It makes it so colorful and beautiful. It's a good look into my music taste and personality, obviously, duh. Down here, I have this mimosa bottle and cups. And they just have little ducks on them. And I don't really drink alcohol much. I don't think I've ever even had a mimosa. Also a bowl of dice. I need to get more for this, but I found this like, cool vintage art deco bowl. And like, I just had to fill it, so. I'm a huge advocate for buying little baby bowls. This is like my catch-all for my keys, the mask, I have AirPods, and I have the key from my car that got stolen. And I also have condoms that Cut Freck, the makeup company sent me on Valentine's Day. And then my mom decided to open the package. So thank you very much for my mirror. Look at me staring at myself all day long. This is probably like my favorite corner of my entire apartment because I've spent so much time and love into this area. The one thing I fucking can't stand is this TV stand. I hate it, I hate it so much. I got off a of Facebook marketplace. I knew that it came from Wayfair. I knew that the quality was shit. I just needed a TV console table, whatever. The legs broke, my whole TV fell. It's not good. I don't like it. I'm on the hunt for a new one. It's not worth talking about a lot. It's really not worth talking about a lot, but I just, I hate this. I do love this though. Yeah, I like it. 
Yeah. <laughs> How else am I supposed to talk about my space? I don't know, sorry. These are my little chairs that no one ever sits in, except when sometimes when space is limited on the couch, because these chairs are not for comfortable sitting, okay? Sorry, but my house is not made for the comfort of others. It's made to look like a museum and like no one lives here. I want it to look like no one lives here except me. This one's really nice. This is probably me, my like, this is probably my second time sitting in this ever. I've had it for a year. I could see myself sitting here. And as everything else in my apartment thrifted. Oh my God, this little animal also thrifted. How about we say hi? There's nothing in that head. I would die for these animals. Let's talk about the best thing that's in my apartment. No, it's not the coffee table. It's good, it's all right. It needs to get restained. People are like, that's a bench, okay, and? It's this rug. Ask me how much I paid for it. You probably already know if you follow me anywhere else because I have not shut up about it. I went to a little garage sale. Something in me just told me to stop by and I'm in the garage, in the actual garage of the garage sale, which rarely ever happens. And I'm walking around and there's a sign that says, these items are not for sale. But something told me to ask. And I saw this rolled up. All I saw was a little king. And I was like, oh. I need him, I need him in my life. I need to take him home, I'm gonna take him home. I asked the people, this won't be for sale, would it? And he's like, oh my God, no one has ever wanted that ever. Like I, we thought we would never get rid of it. I said, how much do you want for it? He's like, how much will you pay? I'm like, I don't know. He went and asked his wife, $5. I got this for $5 and I'm so happy with it. I might hang it up one day, I really don't know. I read all my books on my Kindle, so it's kind of hard because I don't have any physical books of the books that I've actually read. So sometimes I have to like thrift books that I've never read in my life and probably like don't interest me, but I like the covers of so that it can like display some other things like, oh look, it's a good lamp holder. Oh yeah. Probably a fucked up mentality, but oh well. Got this lamp at the Goodwill bins for literally $10, so. These Milo Bauman inspired frames, also from Goodwill for like $5. This is my cat's god. This is like who they pray to when they think of like their deity, this is it. I can't tell you how many times I've caught them praying to it, so specifically Clementine. I hate my babies. Oh, I feel like such a proud mom. That's when he was a baby and he was almost dying. He was passing away because he couldn't stop shitting his brains out, but he's fine now. Practically lived at the vet for like a whole month because I was just taking him nonstop. Um, he's good now, so. Takes a probiotic and Metamucil. I also shit in my car, me taking him to the vet a few weeks before the people stole my car. And then they had sex in my car. I know that because I know that. Don't ask. They had sex with my cat shit stained car seats. So you're welcome. Mm, hope you didn't get BV girly. Anyway, Clementine obviously needs a Clementine cat scratcher, so. Hi, Bushy. So we call him Bushy, cowboy for short. Hi. Yeah. Maybe it was a bold decision of me. Maybe it was a bold decision of me to get a white couch. I got a white couch because I wanted one. I wanted this couch for a really long time. People say it looks like the larva couch. I agree, that's why I wanted it. Something like chemically shifted in my brain after someone spilled a drink on this couch, so. Hi, I got this Luce bar cart and I carried this all the way upstairs to my apartment and let me tell you, it was really fucking hard, but I did it all on my own. So I'm just that girl boss, you know? Like I said, I don't really drink. I don't have a lot of alcohol in my house. So the bar cart is instead used for the many books that I didn't actually read, so. Prior to this, then my friend told me it looks like the dog that Hitler painted in art school. Ruined the vibe for me. I painted this myself, inspired by Claudia Solowski, obviously inspired by the Shrokes. My stepdad, who's very religious, actually asked me where I got the neon cross from the other day. My mom's like, we're not buying that for our house. Forget about it. Also, not trying to dox myself, so this is my little reading corner. Sometimes I do work here, sometimes I sit here. I think it's gonna be really nice in the summer. Little windows open and everything. I wanna buy more disco balls for the disco ball fireplace, but for now, this will do. Buy below, have them for $5. If you wanna donate me a disco ball, feel free to do so. But this is a little baby bottle that I keep all of my cat's whiskers in. It's not like I'm ripping their whiskers out, but if they lost one, they lost one. You can say what you want about me, but you can't say that I don't love these two. Okay. Yeah, the kitchen. Woo. I display some of my favorite mugs over here. This one reminds me of Still Woozy. This one is of a cat's butthole. I have to flip them all upside down because on my birthday last year, I was drinking a cup of coffee and I drank a centipede. I crawled in here and died. It wasn't very vegan of me. Plants. This one, he's flaccid. We've tried everything. Bench that I bought at Marshall's fits there perfectly. And I feed the cats underneath there. Um, 
Oh, Clemmy. Clemmy just has a weird obsession with jeans. Like Adam and I always say, oh, she's doing jeans. She just feels the need to like need on your jeans. Right, Clemmy? Jean. I cook a lot, so I try and keep like the counter space pretty minimal. I love this little towel that I got recently. It says, do one thing every day that scares your family. I don't feel a strong need to show you inside my cabinets, but it's okay. I could do better. Someone called me an almond mom recently, and that was the most offensive thing I've ever heard. I thought I wanted to be a minimalist for so many years of my life, and then I just like embraced that I really do love color. Because when you get like an overview of my apartment and everything, it's not very dull and every wall is filled and I wanted my fridge to be the same. So I thought that this was the perfect place to like display some of my Polaroids. I love this magnet that I got. I love this magnet that I got. If I show you guys the inside of my fridge, you have to be nice to me. Welcome to my hallway. I also wanted to keep this place pretty filled up. Instead of a mistletoe, we have a little disco ball. Don't ask about them, that's my cousins. I don't know who she is, but I love this. And she's the first thing that looks at you when you come through the door. This is a secret photo of Julian Casablanca's that I'm not supposed to have a print of. But I do, mm, that's all I'm gonna say. War is over, just mainly because of Yoko Ono. I found this at a thrift store. That's Clementine, that's Cowboy. That's crazy that they had photos of them both. You guys might have this like inkling or feeling that I'm a really big Strokes fan. I've actually never listened to them before, but I bought this vintage newspaper off of eBay. So come on, I'll take you to my bathroom. Meet me in the bathroom, that's what she said. Like I said, I've never listened to the Strokes, so. Hey, hey, oh. Don't look. I wanted my bathroom to be fun and colorful too. The rest of my house kind of has like a sophisticated grown-up vibe to it, but that's really not who I am at heart. So I wanted the bathroom to be fun. I wanted it to be like the bathroom that you go to like a hole in a wall pizza shop in Brooklyn. Okay, just shit all over the walls, literal and metaphorical. Don't like my plants, they're not thriving. That's cowboy's fault. My friend got this for me as a gag gift for Christmas. I told her it's literally not a gag because I love him. I have poopery so that no one feels ashamed for pooping in my house. That's also why I literally have a bidet, so. I found this at the thrift store, isn't that so cute? Um, oh my God, don't look at that. I never had a menstrual cycle in my life. Baby, baby limbs, big baby. I don't know, these are just like some fun things. Like, ooh, Satan was a lesbian and Ooh, what's wrong? Everything. And ooh, actual effect of alcoholic liquors on the human stomach and intestines. Like it's just fun stuff, you know, fun art. Oh, this is my shower. I bathe here. I've only been in here a few times. That's literally not funny. Not bathing jokes are not funny to anyone, literally. I keep this in here. It's like a refillable little dish soap thing. You add like vinegar and dish soap and then you can clean your shower as you're showering because God forbid there's a moment of peace in your mind for like the six minutes that you take a shower, but um, yeah, this is good. Not sponsored by Native, but the Native Candy Shop Sweet Cinnamon Hearts Body Wash, very good. I don't think I have anything fun in here. Sorry, no offense. Litter robot so that the cats can take a shit the same time that I take a shit. It's really helpful. Clementine, you want to demonstrate? Oh, she doesn't want to. Another cupie. My friend Alex got me my first sunny angel ever. My God, big car, little car. Oh my God. Um, fucking stupid. Here's my little bag of trinkets. I'm using your mom Ashley's tote bag that she so kindly sent me. Um, I use this to fill up my empties for my cosmetics and bullshit. Cause I'm trying to do videos every month on my TikTok of like, oh, what's the products that I used up this month? It's low key me hoarding, but that's my skincare wall. I'm changing that shit out all the time. Does the back of my head look okay? Maybe. Anyway, that's my bathroom. It's fun, it's cute, it's colorful. Someone asked me recently if I've been wearing scarves and bandanas a lot recently because I'm going bald. I appreciate the concern, but no, I'm just lazy and I don't wanna do the back of my head. This is my closet. I would show you this, but in order for me to film this video, I had to put the five loads of laundry that I do not wanna fold I had to put it somewhere. I'll get around to it this weekend, but not now. Not before this video. Sorry, I wasn't gonna fold laundry before this video. Yeah, like I said, you might find out some things that you don't like about me in this video. <sighs> One of the things you probably wouldn't have assumed is that I'm a person who does not fold my laundry immediately after it comes out of the dryer. I am. Okay. We all have our issues. And this one is my biggest issue. I don't have anything bigger than this. I can show you for a split second. This is where I'm really paranoid. Oh, there's a, literally a load of laundry in there because I didn't fold it. I get really, really paranoid one day that one of my cats are gonna end up in here and then I'm gonna turn the dryer on or leave them in there and that they're literally gonna just 
die. Hey. Hey, let's start here. I hate these side tables. I'm trying to get new ones. If your parents gift you something, like a hand-me-down from their house, when you're moving out, you're not gonna say no. There's something deeply wrong about this corner right here. I have a little candle, whatever, schmron. I'm trying to get more candles, make it pretty. Clementine thinks that there's ghosts here. Every single night, it's like clockwork. She will stand here and howl up at the fireplace because she sees something. And I know she does, and I believe her. I'm not gonna gaslight her and tell her she doesn't see anything because I'm pretty sure she probably does see something. And so I don't like that my bed is near this, but what can you do? My perfumery and my little earrings. More stroke shit, like I said, never heard of them. I told myself that I would never have my desk in my bedroom ever again because I worked out of my bedroom for the entirety of the pandemic. And also before that, like I never got to put my desk anywhere else. But unfortunately it works the best in here. So it's here to stay. My spider plant is doing really well. I have my 100K plaque back there when I became like the most famous person on earth. Over here, Curology was so kind to gift me a Boy Smells candle that I haven't gotten the chance to light yet. But I use it as a paperweight because um, I got two parking tickets when I didn't do anything wrong. And you know what? I do a lot of things wrong, but I was not in the wrong for that. So I have to dispute that. So mm, mm. I absolutely love this gallery wall that I made. Uh, it took a lot of time because I was very annoying and going nuts about the placement and what frames I'm using and everything. Maybe eventually I'll fill up the little gaps with like smaller frames and stuff. But for right now, I love this and I'm very happy with it. Here's my bed. I sleep here with my two cats every night. I don't want to make people insecure. That's why I never like play the guitar because I don't, I, the last thing I want to do is make people feel bad about themselves or feel bad about like their talents or you know their skills or anything. And I, I would never want to do that to someone. Here's my other mirror. I get a lot of questions about how tall I am. Love my little vanity. I used to have a big ass desk as my vanity. I decided to downsize and every other makeup that like eh, won't fit up here, I put in my caboodle. So I love having a caboodle. Oh. And once again, I love getting these like vintage glass bowls. That's very gorgeous to me. And I love sitting here and it's so comfy cozy. I have a small clothing rack. That's not a Make America Great Again sign. It's Firestone Racing. Thank you very much for my racing days. So I like having clothes in here because since all of my clothes are in my closet, I was like, oh, that's so weird. I have like no clothes in my bedroom. I'm not used to that. So I'm like, mm. Now it feels like a bedroom. All right. This is the best thing I ever got off of Facebook Marketplace. Most of my stuff is from Facebook Marketplace, but this is one of the best things ever. And I think I paid under $200 for it. It's like a actual mid-century modern dresser. And she's literally just filled with towels and sheets. And I love her for it. I bought this from someone's estate sale, that as well, because someone died. Once again, little glassware, ashtrays to use for jewelry and other stuff. My favorite glasses ever got stolen. My crab eyewear glasses got stolen with my car. That's the worst thing that's ever happened to me. When I saw the car, once it was found, I was like, oh, I hope that they left the sunglasses. Why would they leave the fucking sunglasses? Why would they do that? That was dumb of me to think. They took everything. I'm grateful for what I have, but I miss my crap I wear sunglasses. Also, another thing that they took. Mm. Jerome. It's a sensitive topic, but Jerome was this like little rubber rat that I used to have in my car. I found him at a flea market. I bought him from an old man. I just, he meant a lot to me and he was my co-pilot. He was there through everything. And I thought, oh, maybe they left him. Why would they want a fucking plastic rat? No, they took him. They took his ass. And so he's gone. But before he left, I bought his offspring. And so now he just lives on top of my fridge. So, and, and, and it's hard. It's hard. It's hard being a mother that lost her child. It's hard. So we're coping. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned that I have the best style on earth, that I have really good taste in interior home design. I'm really good at playing the guitar and my biggest flaw is that I don't fold my laundry. Nothing else. Thank you so much to Anchorwork for sponsoring today's video. If you liked this video, please make sure to leave it a like because that helps me out so much. Also, leave a comment if you want to know where something specific is if I didn't list it down below. Make sure you subscribe if you want to be nasty. If not, you're disgusting. Also, make sure you have your bell notifications on so you know every single time I post or else you're gross. I mean it. I'm gonna go now. I have six loads of laundry to fold. Bye.